Alright YouTube, well my local farm supply store was out of number 40 chain here, which is what I was planning on using. Uh, anyway, ordered some off Amazon, I should have it in sometime next week. But here is the positioner at work. Go over here and hit the foot switch. And then bam with the foot switch again. And then I have the speed controller over here. And yeah, I'm uh, really excited to give this thing a try here. I just kind of, again, have my ground clamp kind of half-ass on there. I figure I'll wait until I get the chain, mount the motor backwards uh, right here, or, you know, flip it over, have it right there, and then I'm going to build a... Uh, tabletop stand for this, but I am really excited to give this guy a go here. I put my dial indicator on my chuck here, and I only had about 10 thousandths run out, which I am absolutely thrilled about. And uh, so far, so good. Alright YouTube, well, as you can see, we're making some progress here. Again, you know, for anybody that's going to say, Oh, that's stupid, you shouldn't have done it that way. Well, basically those flanges are left over from another project. That half the pipe there, or tube there, is left over from another project. And I didn't even have to cut it up because it was already, you know, it was already there hanging out. So, I just basically dug around in my scrap bucket and vomited up uh, that thing there. So, yeah. I don't care if you got negative comments to make. Uh, anyway, so I uh, will have the review of this welding hood up. This is just like a $35 Chinese import that um, company sent me. Uh, they have them on Amazon. I'll throw a link down there. Shockingly decent welding hood. I'm actually, you know, really, really impressed with it. Um, I'll have the full review up here in the next couple of weeks. I actually was contacted today by a marketing rep from Evolution and they are sending out some saws for review which I am really excited about so thanks out there at Evolution for uh, sending that stuff out well assuming they actually send it out but they said they were gonna ship it today so a uh, handsaw and then a chop saw kinda like my Makita over here and I actually looked at one of those Evolution saws when I went to buy my Makita here um, I think I just needed it in a hurry and I ordered the Makita off Amazon and had it like the next day which is why I ended up buying that and not the Evolution but um, really excited my positioner is going together here and also if you are listening uh, to podcasts I just ran across one that I would highly recommend let me see if I can find it here it is called the business of machining uh, basically it's two people that own machine shops and they're talking about it um, not so much applicable to just the machining, but like they talk a lot about the business side of running a small, small, you know, welding fabrication business. So really decent if you're kind of like, uh, you know, in my situation here where you're the owner operator of a small business like this. So anyway, I'm going to put the camera down here and get back to work on this. Uh, I've been videoing uh, as much as I can here, so should have it up shortly. Anyway. I'm Darlington Farm. Thank you for watching. Please check back to the channel here.